So here's a dynamic that we get a lot recently. I am currently in the US as an au pair on, an, on a J1 visa or I'm in the US on whatever visa. Do I have to leave the US and then re-enter on a student visa when I want to start as an international student, start my undergraduate or graduate studies? In this video, I want to talk about that dynamic, give you a few more insights here and there. But to keep it short, the answer is yes, unfortunately. You have, to ex you have to exit the US, do all the paperwork at home as it, re as it relates to getting the F1 student visa from your home country and then re-enter. Please plan this carefully. It would be a bigger, the biggest bummer if you manage the entire process in the US, finding the right university, getting in, getting the scholarship, do all the, the, the logistics, but then enter legal repercussions because you haven't entered the US with the new status what you are, namely a student. So take a quarter maybe, if anything, a couple of months to exit the US, plan everything accordingly, see your family again and then re-enter. Now the question is how much in advance am I allowed to re-enter the, the US? The answer is six weeks. Six weeks before your actual starting date you are, you're allowed back in. So. For an ex as an example, if your semester begin is the middle or end of August, early July of that respective year is the earliest time you can re-enter. Not as a tourist this time, not on a, on a J1 au pair visa, but on an F1 visa. If you have specific questions about your, sp about your individual situation, talk to us. You can go under this video. There's a link to our website. On that website, you find a free consultation call option. You can have all your questions answered and we'll find out if so, or we will, we'll find out whether and if so, how we can help you. You can also use the comment box below under the video. Our team will be proactive to respond to your queries. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps us. It helps you. It helps people like you to find us. And if, if you want more content on how to study as an international student in the US, subscribe to this channel. Until next time, bye.